Hello everyone, it's Luke here with Anti Shanty checking in from the Outside Adventure Expo in Salt Lake City. We're going to take a look at our Anti Shanty Pro and go through some of the features uh, that make us unique and stand out from the rest. So this is uh, the side kitchen box here. We've got tons of real estate for throwing in all sorts of different types of gear. You can put paddles, fishing poles, ham stoves, you name it. We throw life jackets, all the things in there. It's lockable. It is also uh, sealed from dust and other, other elements. Standing under the awning right here, giving us a ton of shade. Really nice to be able to have a spot to cook and kind of hang out in, set, set up the camp zone. You can attach walls here to add additional space if that's something of interest to you. Gonna wrap around the back end of the unit here. This is the back side here. One other thing that makes it very different than a lot of the other trailers on the market is the ability to haul gear. So we've put everything from couches to motorcycles to four wheelers, you name it in here. Uh, if it can fit, it's, it's a good spot. All these panels remove entirely. Integrated ramp slots in the bottom of the frame. And yeah, bring your gear, bring your toys. Another feature that's super unique about this is there is no wood in here. If you shake up a Coke and blow it off on the inside of there, you can easily just give it a hose or a wipe down and it's as simple as that to clean it up. Also instant awning with tons of room to walk under standard on all the units. It's uh, also the back door, two for one there. <laughs> yeah, wrapping around, uh, we've got, this one's on 33 inch. BFG All Terrains. Those are the tires we use for our off-road models. We do make a Subaru model uh, that is a smaller profile wheel and tire. Another kitchen box here on the outside. And yeah, all the storage for whatever you need. Another cool feature is if you go without the spare tire and without the kitchen box and without the AC is you can fit two 14-foot uh, sea kayaks or sups on the side of here without having to raise them onto the roof. You simply just bring it up, lash it down, and uh, you know get, get onto the water. We use a Timberin ind independent axle suspension system so you won't get hung up on rocks and it's really smooth down the road. Uh, AC unit is integrated into the wall there. A nice step, you can put propane tanks, lash some gas cans down. Uh, generator is a good spot for that as well. Another neat feature on this is uh, the four independent jacks. They're an aluminum jack typically found on high-end uh, nautical applications, so they're super smooth application, really easy to operate. And as we move into the front of the unit, another thing that's unique is the fully removable tongue. Uh, you can pull this out, put it in your vehicle, and leave this out in the woods as a standalone cabin, so to speak. Uh, it also helps for folks uh, that want to keep it as secure as possible. It'd be really hard to get that moving without the tongue. Moving into the gearbox here, we have what we call the garage, the gearbox. This is where the brains of the operation are housed. We've got the diesel tank in there, the uh, inverter, also the 200 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. And yeah, it's got uh, space totally separate from the rest of the living quarters. So all the things you don't want to be uh, hanging around are completely separate. Yeah, moving on into the rest of the unit here. You can see we've got solar on the roof, a roof vent up there as well. Uh, 270 awning. Actually, this is the 180 awning. We do a 270 as well. If you're interested, we can also do two 180s, so one on each side. All right, so if you all want to come inside and take a look at what's going on in here, we've got a queen bed up top. This typically stays stationary, and uh, when the roof's folded down, this is ready to hop into as you pop the roof up. If you want to haul gear, you can remove all these panels like I mentioned, uh, but what's nice about them intact is you can pull over without popping the roof. You've got a little teardrop-esque type space to crawl into and have a good night's rest. Arctic turn windows have integrated blackout screens as well as bug screens. They're triple pry, triple anti-pry latches or really nice engagement been super happy with the quality of those windows and yeah as I mentioned there's no wood in here whatsoever uh, it's all aluminum in here we've got the diesel cooktop and heater combo it's a sealed combustion chamber that burns off all the diesel no f no scent of fumes in here whatsoever and uh, does a really good job at providing dry heat for the interior of the cabin had it down into the you know 15s 20s in some super heavy weather and it performs very well 
Uh, what else? These, uh, these are fully hard sided closures. So wind, dust, elements, things like that. They do great at keeping those out. And yeah, it's a nice, nice uh, space to sort of relax in and escape. So you can find us at antishanty.com or on Instagram, antishantyusa. We also do some YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching.